Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Charlie's London's channel. Um, I got this set for Christmas, the Lego Friends set, and I've decided that I'm going to put it together. So look, I've got my trusted Central Perk mug that I've made myself a good old fashioned British cup of tea. So we're going to have a look. So I'm going to do this video in stages because I've got a sneaking suspicion it's going to take about three to four hours to make. Uh, you don't want to be watching me to three, four hours. That'll be a bit boring. But if you have a look on the box down here, you see it's got all the characters. So you've got, obviously, you've got Ross, and then you've got Monica, you've got Chandler, you've got Phoebe, you've got Joey, you've got Rachel, and you've got Gunther at the end, which, to be honest, that really surprised me that you get Gunther. And it's obviously Central Perk, which is one of the most famous places in Friends. I really hope that they build the apartment because I think that'd be really cool to have two, like both the boys' apartments. Um, equally, watch this space because I built my own X Files Mulder and Scully's office. I'm trying to think if there's a way that I can have the office be in the basement and this be in the coffee shop on the ground floor, and then Monica and Chandler's um, apartment and Ross, um, Ross. Uh, Joey and Rachel's apartment being above it as well. So probably a bit adventurous for me, but let's have a look. Anyway, let's have a look what's in the box. Yeah, this is why I think you lot wanting to watch me do this for about five hours is going to be as boring as hell. So we have got all the different boxes. Now, if anyone is familiar with Lego, you will know that they all come numbered and you normally have to build them by the number and then you fit it all finally together so there we go you can see that there's the instruction manual at the bottom here which yes is huge so it is going to take me a while uh i'll do another video when i'm halfway through bye Right, so now I've got everything out of the box. Um, it is exactly as I thought. You do have to do it uh, bag to bag, which is pretty much as most of these Lego shapes are. So I've got, as you can see there, bag one is out. Now, the reason I want to show you this instruction manual is not because I'm going to take you through this. I said I'm not going to be really, really boring. But the thing that I noticed on the box, which I thought was really good to talk to you guys about, is this is a Lego Ideas. Lego have this uh, sort of incentive where you can send your ideas in and they will, the best ones get through and they get made into sets. Now, what is brilliant about this is um, something like Friends probably would have never been thought of before, but someone's gone, well, why couldn't we have a Friends Lego set? What What is wrong with it? The reason I had to make the X-Files one the way I did, um, which I, I might show some clips of that on another one of the videos, is because Lego Ideas rejected the X-Files because a couple of episodes were over 18s. So they didn't allow it to be made. And it actually caused a big stir on the internet because as far as I remember, Gillian Anderson and David Duchovny both were behind the campaign, even tweeting out pictures of the mock-up little Lego figures of Mulder and Scully. Anyway, I digress. So this is a Lego Ideas. Um, What's really interesting about the manual, which is why I wanted to show you this, is that obviously it's got the regular thing about how you use Lego and what you do and all the like the Lego ideas stuff. But then this here, you've actually got sort of the story of Friends, what Friends was when it was on, you know, the phenomenon that it was. It's got a page here about the characters. And interestingly, it's got the character bios. But what I really like about this is on this side, they've used the one of the more famous pictures of the, the six in Friends, but then here for the character bios, they've used their Lego counterparts, which I think is a really nice sort of combination of the things that they've done there. So it's got all the character bios about the different uh, main characters in Friends. And then it's actually got about the fan designer. And what I love about this is this is a, this is a gentleman that's clearly like, you know, he's not a young guy. He's not a, a kid that wants to make a, a, a bit of Lego. He's not... Um, Sort of somebody that's going to be putting this together in like a you know ten to fifteen years of age. He's a, he's obviously a not only a Lego fan for many many years, but he's a Friends fan. So this is showing that the market is very much for adults. Now anyone that collects Lego knows that a lot of Lego sets are not for adults, and Lego is one of the only things that retains its value in the toy market. Um, apart from obviously you're really Star Wars collectors toys and whatnot. So. This is a fantastic idea and broaching it out into this is giving, giving Lego a, a new audience. And let's face it, Lego ideas means they're not only putting it out to you or I to try to make up these things, 
but it also means they're gauging the market. It's a very, very clever idea. Anyway, so it's got then about the Lego designers, the different people that made it possible. It's a really interesting reading. Obviously, it shows you like the little sofa that you're going to be able to make up. And then it goes into what each part is for each bag. So we are going to start on this one. So catch you in a bit. Right, welcome back. So we've done the first bag. Um, just a little bit of a side warning to anyone that's going to be making this. There are two bag number ones. And at first, you might think that you're missing half the stuff because Gunther's head's in one bag and his body and the broom's in the other. But this is the base. As you can see, it's taken to page 43 for us to get this done. My first opinion of this so far is it's very sturdy don't get me wrong it's very very sturdy it's very excessive for what it is um it shouldn't have taken an hour just to do this bit equally there's a lot of bits that don't need to be bits like for example up here they could have easily had the longer parts there instead they had like three sets of three um i'm not entirely sure why they did that maybe that's going to become clear as we build more but we're going to build more. So on to bag two. Okay, so we finished bag two. Now we're moving on to bag three. Uh, bag two was basically that entire back wall there. Um, it was a lot of little fiddly bits that I'm not entirely sure needed to be fiddly bits. Um, there's a lot of bits in this set that I've never seen before. Now, I thought the whole purpose of Lego was that you build with things that already exist but it seems here that they actually have created a loads of little bits for this now something i didn't realize when i first looked at the box i thought this was going to be like the actual um coffee shop as if you know friends was real and rachel really worked there and da, 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 da. but it turns out that it is actually meant to be a set that's the first rigging for the camera so it's going to be built as the actual set was so it's going to be really interesting to see where that goes um we are now on bag three see you in a bit okay we are about to start bag number four uh again fantastic detail like you you can't complain at all i mean i love joey with his slice of pizza which is absolutely brilliant um but there is quite a lot of fiddly little bits I mean, like I said, the detail is amazing. Like, if you're a real Friends fan, you're going to absolutely love this because around on this side of the door, it's got obviously Phoebe Buffay playing here tonight because we know that she's, you know, this is where she plays all her hits. And it's got a picture of a cat, which is obviously, you know, it's to do with Smelly Cat. And then around this side is the picture of Joey with his blue lipstick in the, uh, I think it was a Japanese advert that he did um for the video when he showed chandler that he can uh make all sorts of different adverts and trailers uh there is like you know you've got down here the different coffees and things they do and all the little cups and stuff so it is really really good it's really coming along um let's see where it goes so like i say now it's on to bag four Okay, so we are about to start bag five. Again, bag four was really, really intricate. There was all these tiny little bits. Don't get me wrong, it's really cool, like the service sign. You've got the tables and chairs. You've got the, you know, the, the bagels and the cakes inside the glass container. We've now got Chandler with his laptop. So, um, but again, it was it was a load of pages. Like, we're, we're now on page 105. Um... And there wasn't really, that's all that's been on all the all of the pages, pretty much, like little tiny bits. But let's see how we're going to get on with bag number five. Okay, everyone, we are now on da -da -da, bag six. So this is the final one. Um, as you can see, it's really coming together. Uh, it's no surprise to me that the, the last thing that we're going to be building is the iconic um sofa there's been there's some really nice little additions here there's the the quality and the you know the workmanship and the intricacy of this is a good thing and a bad thing because 
where there is places where you just think, why didn't they use a bigger bit or why didn't they do this or whatever, 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 you can actually see and it's it's taking shape really nice. Um, I'm interested to see what happens over here because the record, the record player, the piano doesn't actually move, like it moves around. I'm wondering if you, you have the option of swapping these two out. It's very unusual for something to just stand in Lego and not be attached. So we'll see what happens. Um, obviously, the minifigs are not where they should be because there's a massive gaping hole in here right now. Um, but we are going to sort that. Uh, Joby's pizza there. You've got Ross now. You've got Phoebe, obviously. Chandler's coming in the door there with his laptop. Uh, Rachel's serving coffee in a cup that is half tipped over, which if you know anything about friends, Rachel was never very good in the coffee shop. Gunther over there with a the broom. Um, so, yeah, we're going to see where it goes. Number six. Okay, so here is the big reveal. Completely done. Took about four hours in the end, which is exactly the reason I did not want to um, film it as I did it. Uh, it wasn't the easiest of sets. There's a lot of little fiddly bits that don't need to be there. You could have, there could have been ways around it. I'm sure there was like lots of tiny little bits. There's levers and things that they could have sort of, done in a different way but saying that it is an incredible kit it's worth the money i think we, it was 65 pounds um i think that's about sort of 75 dollars but i'm pretty sure i've seen in america that it's still 64 dollars so it must be the rrp price but here it is so da -da -da. does look exactly like it does in the box obviously things there are you know you can change them around for example uh there's a spare muffin in this set the muffin's meant to be for monica but there's a spare one so i just gave it to joey because you know joey don't share food uh he also comes with a pizza and two pizza slices but i just put the pizza slices over there uh i really like the fact that you can change this around depending on sort of what you're going for as far as episodes because you know if you want to be really strict with it rachel's only really a um a waitress in like the first one or two series i think but you know so you can take that out of her hand you can put it on the table you can give it to gunther you can sit her down the table um as you can see over here we've got um phoebe that's got her guitar but then you've also got ross's um keyboard so you can move them and change them around not an issue at all uh you can have her even playing outside if you really wanted to because there is um there's space for her to do it over here which is right there because she does actually play by the bins in one of the episodes the doors they move in and out so you can do things there it's again got the really cool central perk logo there on the window it's a great set like i say um I'd probably give it 8 out of 10 overall. The two points lost is purely because there's a lot of fiddly bits that don't need to be there. Is it a great for all Friends fans? Absolutely. Is it worth the money? Totally. It's going to go on my shelf with my X-Files set that um, I love and very proud of. Uh, thanks everyone for watching. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't. Give us a thumbs up and see you soon. Bye.